Well, as I argued in the case of you know changing addiction, uh, drug laws, there's countervailing forces in America that it makes it hard to predict. At the same time, you know, we're of course we're legalizing marijuana in many states. We have a liberal Democrat who's arresting marijuana growers and and, and uh, dispensers in California, and you go, huh? How's that working? You know, doesn't doesn't somebody sit down somewhere and figure this out? Do you know the United States Congress just revoked federal support in 2012 for needle exchange programs? America dragged up the rear, brought up the rear in implementing needle exchange compared to all of Western Europe. We had a second wave of AIDS infection from homosexuals to needle injectors, which England and Australia didn't have. Despite that massive public health evidence, we finally got dragged on board, and now we've just last year revoked that. So that's a, I mean, obviously America's not the whole world. We just determine what the rest of the world does. What we decide drags down the rest of the world. So in that one area, where there's no serious public health advocate who doesn't uh, understand and argue that clean needle programs are a public health plus, that they reduce and eliminate the spread of AIDS and HIV, A, and B, they bring more people into contact with healthcare providers, which in general is a good concept. You're going to get more people normalizing and achieving remission in that environment than when they're out scurrying around the streets using dirty needles. This, every public health figure in America says that. Even the Surgeon General, who's a government employee, the Centers for Disease Control, the American Medical Organization is not known for being liberal bastions, all say that despite that. American public policy is going retrograde in that one area that we know perfectly well. So there's just all bets are off when dealing with America.